to Little and Rose. My name is Summer Noel, and today we are going to do a very fun uh, marble peekaboo. Now, this cup is going to be kind of an intricate cup. It's going to be fun. Uh, it's very elegant uh, and sparkly and gorgeous. Uh, I've already prepped this cup. If you do not know how to prep a cup, click on just below this video. It says Little and Rose. Click on the Little and Rose. It's going to take you to my channel. Scroll back in the videos until you see one that says how to prep your cup going to walk you through how to get this cup ready to uh, start where we're at now. So I've already prepped this cup. We've got a base uh, painted a similar color to the glitter that we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and apply the glitter with the hang method. So I'm going to stick the cup down on my uh, little drying rack that I've created here. I'm actually going to put my foam. If you have not seen me do this yet, I take the foam from my turner this is from the Little and Rose Turner, guys. It's on our website, littleandrose.com. Um, I'm going to take the foam from the Turner, and then I'm going to put the cup over the foam. That way, the cup is already on the foam, so when I remove the cup, I can just slide it onto the Turner, and we're ready to rock and roll. All right, so now you guys are way up at the very top, or bottom, I guess, of this cup, very close to the camera. I want you guys to see this. We're going to mix this epo this epoxy. is already pre-mixed. We're going to take these two, it's about two mLs. We're going to put it right down here on the bottom of the cup. Scrape all the little bits of extra out of here, might as well. Okay, we're going to put those two mLs on the cup. Use every little drop. And we're going to do the hang method. So we're going to slide this epoxy around and work it down the sides of the cup. Now, this is just something I created to give yourself a sticky surface that your big, uh, your glitters will grab onto, your chunkies. Um, will lay flat. It's very, very wonderful. Um, I just kind of decided I was done trying to use spray adhesives because it kind of goes everywhere. If I spray it out in the yard, the, the spray adhesive lands on the ground and then my sidewalk looks dirty because dirty sticks to Anyway, it's a big mess. So I do use spray adhesive, but just not as common. Um, there are scenarios in which I would use it over this, but um, this is my main way. As you can see, it's a lot of work. You've got to work those two mLs down. Uh, you do not want a heavy amount because then the epoxy will try to move. Epoxy, this epoxy is self-leveling. So that means if it's there's a lot on here, it will try to move. It will slide down the cup. Um, it will do its own thing. There's a little piece of glitter stuck. A little piece of glitter. Um, so this takes elbow grease, guys. You just got to keep rubbing and working that epoxy down to be like a micro thin layer and a nice sticky surface for your glitter to stick. Um, I also like this way because it holds it. Like when it's stuck, it is stuck. It's not just kind of stuck by repositional adhesive. It is stuck by glue. Uh, this epoxy is no joke. It will hold that glitter. All right, guys, so I'm gonna keep doing this process. We're gonna work that. Um, I'm just gonna keep working the epoxy down the cup. We are almost done, but this is a tedious process. And you don't need to watch every second of it. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this on many of my other tutorials. All right, so now we've got this cup completely coated. You can see it's very shiny. That is the micro thin layer of epoxy over the top of it. I'm gonna bring in our glitter. I've got it still on the drying rack. I'm just using the drying rack as my uh, wand to hold it. And we're just gonna sprinkle this glitter everywhere. Get good coverage. Uh, Bobby is an opalescent as well, so he will take on a bit of the, the color behind. So if I had used a purple base, he'd look more purple. Uh, but I like the aqua. The aqua is what I'm going for. Oops, missed. Oops. Party foul. We had a party pooper over there. Um, so we're just going to keep shimming on our glitter. Now, if I hadn't base painted, I would probably have to do two layers of Bobby to get good coverage. But because we use that blue aqua base paint, you can't tell if there's, it looks like there's full coverage because that paint helps give that coverage. So that's why prepping your cup is very, very useful in achieving the look that you want with the least amount of product. All right, and now we're gonna put it on the butt.
Almost one more right there. Okay. Then we'll just fold our parchment paper. Pour the glitter back in. That's one-handed. I love, you guys know, I talk about this all the time. These folded parchment papers. Okay, then I'm going to stick this guy down and we're going to press this big chunky glitter down. And it's okay if some falls off. If it's going to fall off, it's probably going to fall off anyway, or it's going to give you a heck of a time trying to cover it with epoxy. So we just want to press this all down very firmly. And then I run my finger over the edge so we don't have anything sticking down. It's going to give us an ugly lip. Press all the edges. All right, now we're going to let this sit. This is going to sit for probably six, six to seven hours, and then we'll coat it with epoxy. Give you guys a little side view. That's super pretty. That is Bobby on top of the aqua base. So pretty. All right, guys, welcome back to Little and Rose. Here we go. We're going to put the epoxy on this cup. We have the A and B part mixed already, ready to rock and roll. Um, I, if you have never, ever seen this before, you need to use FDA compliant um, epoxies. Um, under this tutorial, if you click on Little and Rose, it'll say read more under the tutorial. There will be a whole list of supplies that you um, can sh click from and shop from. And on that list is going to be all the different types of epoxies that I use. Um, I have different reasons why I use them, but they're all good. They all work for cups um, and they are all FDA compliant. You mix them equal parts, um, A and B. Most of them, sorry, you want to definitely check with each different manufacturer uh, because each manufacturer is a little bit different, but most of them are equal parts, A and B. Uh, Little and Rose Epoxy is three to one. It is my absolute favorite epoxy. We are working on getting it in for you guys. Um, this one that I'm working with here is Promarine. I'm trying to use up the rest of my Promarine. So here we go. This is just showing, showing it off for you guys. Okay. Just working on getting a layer of epoxy over the top of this. Um, we're going to end up probably doing two layers before we start our peekaboo. We want to have a nice smooth surface. So we'll do a couple layers of sand, add our peekaboo, have some fun. All right, got just a smidge of epoxy left in the bottom of my jar here. Let's put it on that bottom bit. Perfect. Make sure we don't have any rough spots. Okay, perfect, Be beautiful. All right, now we're gonna torch it. I'm actually going to, sorry, there was one big chunky piece of glitter sticking up right. Oh, got him. Chunky piece sticking up and he's just gonna make a mess for me. So I pulled him off. All right, now we're gonna torch it. This is to get all the micro bubbles, guys. You might not see them because the glitter kind of hides them, but they are there. And if you don't pop them, you will feel them in the texture of the cup. The epoxy will have a texture because of all those little tiny micro bubbles. So we're just going over it with a torch, popping all those bubbles. I am wearing my chemical mask and my nitrile gloves as always. Very important. You see my blue gloves and I've got my chemical mask on. That's why I sound like Darth Vader. Plus I've been sick, so I've lost my voice. All right, so this cup is ready to rock and roll. We're gonna let this one sit and cure uh, for probably about five hours and we're gonna put the next layer on. All right, guys, see you soon. All right, so what we're gonna do now, guys, is we have our base. It is all ready. We don't have to sand or do anything extra here because we're gonna put some more glitter over the top. So ultimately, we're gonna work on all any little bumps that are there that will come out in the next round. So for this bit, we are gonna just take our decals that we've cut out on our Cricut um, if you don't have a Cricut or vinyl cutting machine, you can use any stickers that you can find um, at uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's or whatever and just use those. Uh, but I have a vinyl cutting machine. It's called the Cricut. And that is what I am using. So we are going to make sure we place these. I want my sloth in the middle 
I want it to say live life on the top. Oops. There. Okay, so we're gonna put, there we go. We're gonna press it down in the middle, then rub it out to the right, just how you guys like to always see me do, and then push it out to the left. These are just gonna be for a stencil, guys, so we're not super concerned about it having a, a smooth surface underneath because we're gonna remove this anyways um, once we put our next layer on. Oop, that eye does not wanna stay down. And there we go. All right, so we've got our first little bit. Then this is our second piece. But first we're gonna put down our super duper cute sloth. He's gonna go in the middle. Making sure he's straight and balanced. And making sure underneath that this will fit. So I wanna actually put him up just a tiny touch higher. go. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to press him down in the middle. Press it all the way out to the outside. I'm using a dark vinyl so that it's a little bit easier to see it through the glitter. I'm also going to show you guys a little trick. You can do a couple different things when you're trying to find the vinyl underneath. You can use hot glue and you can put little dots or you can take a photograph um, of your cup so that it's easy to reference where all the little bits of vinyl are so you can find them. Oops, some of these little pieces don't want to stay down. Oh, oh no, he lost his nose. And there we go. Okay, so we've got our decal down for that part. Now we're gonna drop the word, the last little bit of words on there. I reuse my transfer paper, so sometimes it takes a little extra rubbing because it's not as tacky, because I've used it a couple times. So we're just slowly working it off that transfer paper. Making sure it all comes back, comes with us. Zoop, okay. Okay. So it's gonna say live life in the slow lane with our little sloth. Perfect. All right. We're going to start on the next step. All right, guys, this gorgeous cup is starting to really take shape. Um, so now we are going to go ahead and re remove our vinyl. I'm going to be using my super fine point tweezers. You can find these on our website, littleleanrose.com. I'm going to wear my weeding ring. This is just, these are great because it's where I can put my vinyl when I'm done pulling it off the cup. I don't have to try to find a spot to stick it to. So I'm just going to be very gentle and pull my vinyl up very, very carefully to reveal the gorgeous glitter in the back. So when you put the vinyl, you put the ring, you slide your vinyl inside, go to the, one of the corners and come out and that will leave the vinyl inside the weeding ring. I can hear my kids. They're so stinking cute. Isn't that gorgeous? Starting to see that paint come from behind. So pretty.
All right, guys, I want to show you my little trick. So I take my tweezers, my fine point tweezers, and I take a um, Q-tip and I pinch the tip and I twist and I get just a little bit of fabric, a little bit of that cotton on the end of my tweezers while I pinch them closed. Then I take them and I just dip them down in my alcohol ink. I'm not, sorry, my 90%, 91% alcohol. And anywhere that the paint was able to seep underneath the, uh, the stencil, I just take that little fine point and act like I'm just drawing. And I can clean the paint off the, with the 91% alcohol. Just very, very carefully going into the letters and using that fine tip to remove any excess paint that got into the letters and make it perfect. So just like that, just wiping through and using the tip. You can see there's a little bit of color on the end of the cotton. It's pulling up um, just the extra paint. All right, perfect. All right, we're gonna go into the next step. All right, guys, we are now at the epoxy stage. We've got our part A and part B. I've got my nitrile gloves on and my chemical mask because I've already mixed my epoxy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our little trick with our blue tint uh, because there's a lot of white on this cup and I do not want this epoxy uh, turning yellow on the cup where the parts are white. I am gonna take my toothpick. I'm gonna basically just touch it down into the blue food coloring. You can see it's very, 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 very small amount of blue food coloring that you use. It's not even a drop. If you use a drop, it's too much. So we just take the end of a toothpick, we dip it in, into the uh, food coloring, and then we mix it into our epoxy. That's going to help counteract that yellow um, that it will eventually get. Yes, there are epoxies that have UV, but all epoxies will eventually get some sort of a tint of yellow to it. It's just inevitable. Um, so I do the blue, even though I use uh, epoxies with UV resistance in them, I still do the blue whenever I'm working with a white cup so that I know that I'm selling and sending out the best quality product that I possibly can to my customers. Um, this is just the blue gel food coloring. You do not need to use gel. I like gel because it's less messy. Um, all right, and then we've got our silicone sticks. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a little bit of epoxy additive. You've never actually seen me use additives in my epoxies before. Um, this is extremely, extremely fine glitter. Um, it's, it, it's not even really considered like a glitter. They call it glitter because it's the same fabric as glitter, but it's been uh, macerated till it's so, so fine that it's a dust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little mica, my mica spoon and I'm gonna go inside my little packet and I'm gonna get a little scoop, about that much. And I'm going to tap that into my epoxy. Maybe just a little touch more. That was a small scoop. Just a touch more. That's going to add just a little bit of shimmer to my epoxy. So it's going to add an overall shimmer. You can see I'm just going to mix it down in there. It's not going to be, you're not going to be even really able to even see the like pieces of it. It's just going to add like a sheen to the whole layer. It's really pretty, it's really fun, and it's a way to get a shiny, shimmery look without glitter, like straight up glitter. Um, but it's the same kind of look, but it's really beautiful. And it's not gonna do, it's not like gonna have any coverage. It won't hide anything. It's not gonna cover anything. It's just gonna add a little bit of sheen to our project. All right, we're gonna push that off to the side. We're gonna grab our silicone brush and we're gonna go. Sorry, you're gonna hear this turner is a very loud turner. It's my backup turner. I've got all my turners going today. Um, so this is the only one I had left. Um, so we're just gonna apply in an upward motion to the top of the cup. We're gonna make sure we get the rim covered really well all the way over. You won't really notice the sheen over the glitter areas because it's just gonna blend right in, but you definitely are gonna notice the sheen and the, the epoxy additive sparkle on over the hydro dip. But I didn't want to add glitter glitter because I didn't want to cover my Hydro Dip. The Hydro Dip came out absolutely gorgeous, perfect, actually, in my mind, um, exactly what I was shooting for. So I don't want to cover that up and muddle that beautiful marbling with actual full-size glitters. Um, that's why we're using the additive, because the additive will not cover up and hide any of that beautiful uh, marbling effect.
All right, so here we go. We're just gonna little, we're gonna just make sure it's all the way covered. Then we're gonna start on the bottom. Just make sure there's coverage across the glitter on the bottom, along the edges. Covering our edges. All right, Whoop, there we go. So I've got a little bit extra, so I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna drizzle along this upper rim to make sure we get good coverage along the top. It's just a teeny, teeny bit more, a couple drips. Now, if you're struggling with getting a smooth finish on the top and the bottom, what you can do is you can let your epoxy cure up for about 20 minutes. It gets a little bit thicker, and then you can add it to these edges, the top and the bottom, um, and it will stay in place a little bit better because it's thicker, it's not so free flowing. All right, gonna scrape the extra off there. and take a paper towel. We are going to clean off the brush. All right, now we are gonna take uh, our torch and we're gonna to torch all the micro bubbles. I'm still wearing my chemical mask. You can see that absolutely gorgeous sheen and sparkle from that epoxy additive over the hydro dip. It's actually beautiful. Uh, this will eventually be in swag coming soon. The epoxy additives are coming soon to swag. Uh, if you don't know what swag is, if you're new to my channel, swag bag is something that we sell through our Facebook group. We have a website, littleleanrose.com. Uh, we have swag bags for sale. They are a monthly subscription. And what comes in your bag is a whole bunch of different tumbler making supplies and crafting supplies. Uh, like what the things you see me work with, the weeding tweezers, uh, the silicone uh, sticks, the silicone brushes, the silicone cups, actual stainless steel tumblers, epoxies, uh, geez, it goes on and on, silicone molds and glitters and epoxy additives and brushes and all the different things that we use, vinyls and things. A, a whole different random collection of things each month will come out to you as a subscription and deliver to your house once a month. Uh, you can click on our website. There will be a link below this video on how to find it. Uh, but like I said, this epoxy additive is coming to the swag bag soon. This cup is super gorgeous. All right, guys, we're going to let this cure up for about nine hours. Uh, then we're going to keep on working on it. See you soon. All right, guys, you're going to hear the pitter-patter of little feet in the background. My kids are playing right on the outside of my workshop here. Um, but we finished this one up. It's super fun, very easy. Um, you just get your glitter base done. Then you do your hydro dip over the top, pull up your decals. Really, really fun. I hope you guys learned something new, got a little inspired on this one. Give us a thumbs up. Ring that bell on our YouTube channel. Make sure you don't miss any of our tutorials. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye, guys.